Hey there, welcome to the Twisted Sage Studios webinars. Today we are going over the two inch golden fire disc and the two inch golden fire disc plug. Um, so before we start, as always, I would love to invite you all to go into the heart space with me. Um, just a quick, simple, easy three breath exercise. So you can close your eyes if you wish. And just visualizing within your heart, your light, your fire. Just sending your light down into the earth. It connects to that crystal sun of the earth, the heart of Gaia, the heart of Mother Earth. And we breathe that energy right up into the heart. Right up through the feet and right into the heart. Next, we connect with source, soul, creator, God, however you see and say that. Bringing in all of that energy right into the heart. And the third breath, breathing in from both earth and sky. Bringing both those energies into you, mixing them together with you within the heart. So then you are grounded, connected in the heart space as that column of light that we are. All right. So the two inch golden fire disc. Um, and as always, we'll give a little bit of history on these guys first. So we started out when the smart meters first started coming out is when everybody, you know, really brought the awareness to issues with your electrical system, um, you know, as far as mainstream goes. So with the smart meter um, transmissions, in the beginning, we were making an, an actual ring that you would put around the, the meter housing on the outside of the home. And that would transform whatever was within that column of energy, within that column of that ring. It was doing the restructuring, the transforming. So then any of the emissions, uh, like the, the Wi-Fi style emissions, the transmissions that come out of that smart meter, um, those would be cleaned and cleared within that column of the ring. But the ring really didn't do much more than that because a tensor field on its own will only create a column of energy and it'll only transform what is within that column. So that's when we started using um, the, the sacred cubit was the, the ex exact cubit that fit around most meter housings at that time. And so we created an etheric template. Within that etheric template, that higher aspect, the higher creation of that meter ring, we brought in the consciousness of electricity as well as the consciousness of Gaia and the earth elementals and out of copper, because your electrical um, circuit within the home is grounded into the earth. And so it just made sense to us to work with all consciousness involved. So once we did that, then we saw that when you put that ring around that meter housing, it would then follow the current all the way through the home, through all the electrical outlets, as well as back up the line. So those the the sacred cubit with that fire ring etheric template was really fantastic for some time. When the golden fire came along, which was the, the, the cubit measure and that etheric template, when the golden fire came along, of course it contained everything that we had created previous to then. So it created it did contain the, the meter ring and all the etheric aspects of that meter ring, all the frequencies and properties of it. So with the golden fire, um, well, and then there was also an issue with that, that sacred cubit ring being put around meters. A lot of people had their ring that either disappeared or else it began to not fit on a lot of meters because then there became a lot more manufacturers of smart meters out there. And then like in the UK and other places, they had square meters versus round meters. So it just got to be the point to where a ring around the, the meter just was not a feasible thing. Either they disappeared, somebody would take them off, or they just wouldn't fit. So when the golden fire came along, we, we did consider there for the, for the first little bit of creating a ring and putting around the meter housing. But then since the golden fire um, ring 
Mm. When you put that energetics anywhere with on the, along the electrical system, and it follows that electrical system both forwards and backwards within that current. So we found that we could put that ring anywhere in the electrical system, and it would work with the whole system. So that's when we created the disc. So the disc is it's the same size of tensor ring that we use in the Wi-Fi rings. Uh, what makes these guys special? Peelable back sticker and a plug. Uh, they're just handy. They're, they're easier to use. You certainly can use a Wi-Fi ring and tape that to your electrical panel. These guys are just handy. They're also handy for um, more than just your household electric, as we'll get into. So as far as the as how these these new discs came in to replace the meter ring, um, we also worked with professional dowsers all across the world who use their, their dowsing to go into a home and find issues within the home. And those issues, one of them are electromagnetic that they look for. And so if you so if you are having trouble sleeping at night, things like that, um, a dowser would come in and they would douse for the energies within your room. A lot of people don't realize that your household fuse panel, your fuse panel, your breaker box, um, that which is within the home, a lot of times are located in the master bedroom. Um, so those panels will put off a non-beneficial electromagnetic field about five and a half to six feet out from there. And, um, and hey guys, we got somebody from Turkey and Massachusetts and elsewhere around the world here um, saying hello. So with that fuse panel or breaker box that you have within the home where it puts out that electrical field five and a half to six feet out of a non-beneficial current. Now, one of the reasons that is a non-beneficial electromagnetic field because as I've stated before, electromagnetic fields in and of themselves are not harmful. Um, our heart is a huge electromagnetic generator. We are in an electromagnetic universe. Um, everything is electromagnetics. Well, not everything, but it's, it's a good majority of all physical and non-physical things are electromagnetic. So with that, the, the fields that are within the household current of the United States are the 60 hertz. Now that is a certain frequency that interferes with that of the electromagnetics of the heart. So our heart, that electromagnetic generator, about six feet across, when we come into the field of a 60 hertz electromagnetic, it messes with our entire system. Um, so like in the UK, they have a totally different Hertz that they use there. That is not quite as detrimental from what my understanding is. So with these rings, um, that we are using to restructure the electromagnetics, we're restructuring that electromagnetics within the home because that the household current as it flows. So you have the fuse panel where it is, is, is extending out that far. And if you have your electrical meter on the other side of a wall, it's gonna extend out that far as well. So you also have to be aware of where the electrical meter is as well as the fuse panel. But then you also have all of your other circuits within the home. So around the electrical wires themselves, they only create a small field around them. But when you get to like a light switch or a, or a plug-in, they can have about an 18 inch field out. So within, within the, the area of any of those plugs, you are having a field about 18 inches out. So when we are using these tools that's restructuring all those electromagnetics, it is turning all those fields into something helpful and beneficial. Now, we've had a, um, and, and going back to dowsing, we have a, a, a good friend, uh, Judy Gabriel, who does dowsing out in Ojai, California. Now she did a video for us once and she was using the same ring and she put it onto one of those green transformer boxes, the electrical boxes that sit out in your yard. 
and that's for people who have underground utilities. If you are still within a spot uses power poles, then your transformer would be more of one of those cylinder shape that are up on the poles themselves. So what Judy did was she took a ring, a golden fire ring of this size, and she placed it right underneath of that green transformer box, that electrical transformer box out in the yard. Before she did that, she used her dowsing rods and a certain dowsing scale that she uses to measure the beneficial or non-beneficial amount of energy coming from the fuse panels as well as the green transformer box. Now, when she measured the energy coming out of the transformer box before she put a ring on it, it was in the negative thousands. She put the ring on it, it became positive hundreds. Now that would be the same within all those fuse panels that were connected to that transformer. So the one business that she was working on, she checked and she had all those negative numbers within the fuse panel of that business. When she put the ring on that transformer, it changed it not only at the transformer, but also in that business at the electrical junction box at the fuse panel, as well as the other places that were connected to that green transformer. So that's not how we would use these guys. I just wanted to give you a story of how powerful they are and what they will do when you put it onto the electrical system. So she was finding that it covered a very large area, not just a home. So if you place one of these, onto your fuse panel within the home, then it is going to follow that electrical throughout your household, changing everything within the household, but also it will follow it back. As that follows it back, now this will answer a question about a lot of people still have issues about not putting this on directly onto the smart meter or onto the transmission part of the meters. Well, if you think of your smart, your meter, and analog, digital, smart meter, no matter what, it creates that electromagnetic field that is about 11 to 12 feet across. So five and a half to six feet out. So within that field, when we transform that electromagnetic field with one of these, everything within that field is transformed. So within that field of the meter of that electromagnetic field, you have that Wi-Fi transmission beaming out right there, but it is transformed within that field because now then that field is harmonized, is transformed into something helpful and beneficial, and it transforms that broadcast of the Wi-Fi of the smart meter. So you can place the disks anywhere in the home. It'll follow that electrical current back to the meter and it will transform the emissions from the smart meter. Um, so that allows us to get by without having to put these directly onto your meter or your meter housing. You still can, they have a waterproof back sticker on them. And all the utility companies that we've spoken with, it, to them it doesn't matter if you put something onto the meter box. Um, they say as long as it does not appear to be interfering with one, their transmissions, or two, trying to get free electricity, something like that, you know, some other kind of device, they are okay with it. So you still can place these directly outside onto the, the electrical um, meter housing, but you don't have to. Um, and then we started making the plug-in style because as you can put the disks anywhere along that electrical system it'll follow it all the way back to the meter and beyond so the plug-in disks are super handy for the fact that you can take them anywhere with you you can take these to a hotel if you with you if you travel um, if you go stay at a friend's house whatever they're a non-permanent um, way to utilize these so this is just a child safety plug right here so basically, as you have that 18 inch electrical field that comes out from the plug, this ring connects into that field and it follows it back. So that's the whole concept is that you're placing this close enough to the electrical field that it connects in. Um, 
some interesting feedback that we've gotten from these guys is that um, people have told us that they have decreasing utility bills. It's nothing that we ever advertise, but we do have um, some, we have a good friend who creates these electrical devices that has a farm ranch. And so he has these utility bills that are like 600 bucks a month. And he creates these little devices that you plug into the wall. They're like electronic radionic style and they restructure the electromagnetics. He put one of our rings that we use for here with his device and he said he had a decrease in electrical consumption by 40%. And that was over the course of time. Um, so we've had a lot of people who note that. And when we looked at it, it, you know, to us, it feels like it because it harmonizes the electrical field that a lot of those things like electrical motors, things like that are able to run more efficiently because that field is harmonized. Whatever the real case is, um, we, we, we have heard that a lot. So the plug-in um, or the sticker back, again, you can place that anywhere along the electrical system. And so what I tell everybody is that if you live in an apartment building, it's going to follow that back and it will restructure everybody within that apartment building because they are all connected to that larger transformer box system. Um, so, and then uh, please do, if you folks have questions, please do throw up some questions here along the way because um, I'll be running out of information here shortly. Um, so again, kind of explain the, the history of these and the, the workings of them and some of the basic uses. Now, and again, for more than just your household electric, you can actually utilize these guys. I used to put one on my phone. Um, just because it has our logo and it has the big bling um, doesn't, doesn't do any better job than the cell phone tab for your phone. Um, you can use these guys on laptop computers. You can use them on smart TVs. People have, uh, we have one testimonial on the page and if you guys have looked at the testimonial page for these, you might've seen somebody talked about how they actually placed one of these on a window where they were having transmissions, cell phone transmissions coming through the window that bothered them. They placed this on the window. It created a field that transformed those electrical emissions. Part of one of the things that these guys do, when you have a tensor ring and you flatten it like we do here, it is creating where a tensor ring usually creates a column of energy that goes straight out, just a straight column. These ones, when we flatten them, it's creating more of a sheen, a sheet, and so these guys are creating that sheet, which I can see how that would work on that window of that person who placed it on there. Um, let's see, other uses. Uh, let's see, well, and actually we got a couple questions um, for working with geopathic stress. Now, nope, because one of the things that if you can picture and visualize how the electrical would flow within your home, what we are doing is we are utilizing that electrical current within the home and that electrical current as it wraps around the home in some places with the junction boxes, like at the outlets, it has that larger field. Um, it creates a bubble about three feet across. It's about 18 inches out. So it is only within those fields in the field around that wiring and that larger field around the electrical panel that that golden fire energy will be coming through. So basically the only thing that the disc is gonna be working on in the environment is it's just gonna be piggybacking on, for lack of better words, onto that electrical emission, onto the, the electromagnetic field of the household electric. So it's not going to extend even all the way through the home. So basically it's just going to be, again, just picturing where your electromagnetic field is for your household electric is where this field will be. Granted, um, this field will extend out farther though. So we've seen that um, people, well, people have wrote in and said that they use like a tri-field meter and they, um, 
they measure the electrical field that comes out of like let's say a wall outlet and they'll say okay well we're getting emf readings 18 inches out but we put one of your discs onto our fuse panel and now we're getting readings about 22 inches out and that is because it is harmonizing that electromagnetic field so it can extend out farther so again harmonizing that field, changing it into something that is more healthful and beneficial. So instead of trying to block any of that, we are transforming. Um, and then another question, um, do we need one per house? Um, and you do only need one per house. So you can put this in the garage, the, uh, somebody is asking here about putting this in the breaker box in the garage. Yes, you can certainly put this, even if you have outbuildings, like if you're in a farm ranch style area, you have outbuildings, you can even put it in a place anywhere. And as long as you're still within that whole same electrical circuit between where you place the disc and the, um, and the transformer, as long as you're anywhere within that whole electrical circuit, it is gonna be taking care of everything. So it doesn't matter where on your property you place the disc and you do only need one. Um, so as far as household electromagnetics, um, pretty simple little tool. You just stick it, forget it, or plug it and forget it. So that kind of brings up another question. And thank you. Uh, somebody's asking about working with Wi-Fi routers with that. So it will not transform the Wi-Fi router. Now, when we've seen, because that was one of my questions too in the beginning when we were looking at it is, I was hoping that it would actually follow the current through to like large appliances like your refrigerator because your refrigerator is a big electromagnetic generator as well. So, but let's take the, the question with the Wi-Fi router. So the, that electrical current is only gonna be going into the Wi-Fi router, but it will not go past all the electronics into the transmissions. So even though you have one of these on your fuse panel, it's not going to affect your Wi-Fi router and change that Wi-Fi router where you're seeing. We're seeing that you still need something separate onto the Wi-Fi. Um, and that's the same with the refrigerator, is that we were seeing that somehow along the way, even though that, that electrical current that goes into the refrigerator is the healthful and beneficial and it's a transformed current through the processes, it still changes it and still recreates a electromagnetic field that is not as beneficial as it was before it got to all the electronic equipment. So basically these are gonna be covering your smart meter, your smart meter transmissions, your fuse panel, and every one of your outlets and and everything within the home that way for the electrical circuitry um, but none of the appliances and beyond that uh, beyond that plug um, so some other uses you know it's um people have been using these gosh we used to have aquariums i would stick these on aquariums people put them on their dog and cat food dishes um, i put them on the bottom of my daughter's canteen that's for water that she takes to school it's just an easy way to use it um, so there is a lot of ways that you can utilize these um, and let's see if we have any other questions and it's awesome we got people here from Chicago and Oregon and my friend from Belgium and and every place else here that we've mentioned already so appreciate you guys all being here today um, and let's see, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. So if you guys have any other questions on these, um, basically for, for a home, there are two pieces that I usually suggest for any home for people who are sensitive to electromagnetics. That is the disc, either the sticky back or the plug-in style, and a golden fire generator. Because where these discs are taking care of the entire electrical circuit, the generator will be taking care of everything else that is free floating through the air, like your Wi-Fi transmissions, like cell phone transmissions, everything else that just comes through the air um, that does not intersect with the electromagnetic field. Um, 
And let's see, does this have to go in an outlet close to the fuse box? Nope. You can plug this into any outlet within the home, even outside of your home, does not matter where. And it'll follow it back to the fuse panel and to the electrical meter and the smart meter. So it'll cover your smart meter transmissions no matter where you plug this into the electrical system. Um, golden fire disc versus Wi-Fi ring, somebody's asking. Wi-Fi ring, golden fire disc, the same, the same energetics. Um, these are just a lot fancier because they can stick places and it's flattened where it creates more of a sheet of energy. Um, but no matter what, it, whether it's creating that sheet or the column, as long as the Wi-Fi ring or the golden fire disc are connected into the electrical circuit of the home, it'll work within that entire electrical circuit. Um, what's the best thing to use for a refrigerator and microwave? Well, you know, my sister Brenda, Brenda Schnoes, she used to run um, a, a bar restaurant. And in that restaurant, she, you know, of course she had to use a microwave once in a while, and that's just the way it was. So we made microwave rings for a while. Um, we made them out of the sacred cubit and then out of the galactic, but they kept blowing up her microwave. Um, they were just making it healthful and beneficial. <laughs> so, um, we use them for a microwave oven. And that was our older frequencies. Even like our older chambers made out of the galactic qubit, they would even fry cell phones. Uh, they just weren't friendly to electromagnetics. But if you use a golden fire ring for a microwave, what I would suggest would be to use either the 11 inch or the 15 inch golden fire ring, either underneath or on top of a microwave oven, if you're gonna do it that way. Um, then another question, would the tools be enhanced with Shungite attached to them? Well, yes, they sure would. You can use any kind of crystals within the tensor fields. They synergize and amplify each other. So Shungite is a fantastic one. That's why we put Shungite in our water coasters. We did work with Shungite. We did some trials with Shungite inside of the meter or in the, the discs, and it didn't make any difference. It was, it was good either way. So we just saved the Shungite and just used just the ring instead. Um, but yes, totally you can use the Shungite and the rings together. And as a matter of fact, Shungite, when you use Shungite for electromagnetics and for water and for energy, it's an absorber. Um, it tries to block, it absorbs. And so with Shungite, when you use it like on your cell phone or any place else, it's going to absorb. And so you need to clean and clear it. That's when if you use Shungite with a ring, it works fantastic because it keeps the Shungite clean and clear. And again, they harmonize, synergize, and amplify each other. Um, can these be used in the car as well on the electronics? So that's a really good question because a lot of people are having issues anymore with the electronics in their car. Now, usually what I suggest and usually what comes up in a reading for people on what best to be used in the car still comes up with the golden fire generator. Um, you know, and it's, it, it's like an extra 17 bucks or so between this and a generator. I would go with a generator for your car um, just because you're covering a whole lot larger spectrum. Um, if you carry a generator in your car, it is helping you, it's helping everybody out in a mile and a half area. And then wherever you park your car at, it goes out three quarters of a mile from that area. So it, you know, I would sure suggest using a golden fire generator over the golden fire disc for a car electrical. But if you happen to have a disc and you'd like to use it with your car anywhere along your electrical system, um, just pop your hood, I would say follow your follow the red wire, follow the lead out from your battery. Because um, I was going to say put it on your battery, but that doesn't feel right. I'd say anywhere along that electrical system, like find your fuse panel. That would probably be the best place. Um, your fuse panel, which is hidden somewhere in your car, up underneath the dash, glove box, under the seat, wherever your fuse panel is, for your car, that would be the most logical place to put a disc or a ring. Um, 
And let's see, questions on other tools, contact, email, and phone. Well, yeah, you please do. Um, email is the best way to get a hold of me, um, twistedsage at hotmail.com. Um, twistedsage at hotmail.com. That is the best way to get a hold of me, to have questions answered. Um, for But if you would like to speak with somebody on your phone, I would sure suggest calling our studio office number because we always have somebody that's knowledgeable on hand, um, usually it'll be Mary that answers the phone. And the telephone number for the studio is 605-833-3333. Pretty easy number to remember. 605-833-3333. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm trying to think if I have any other great uses and comments that I've heard. Um, Again, do check out the testimonials page on this guy because there's a lot of people who write some pretty phenomenal testimonials out there. Um, sticking this one on your cell phone. Yeah, actually, I just got a new cell phone case. So this is the one that I always use on my cell phone. Again, just because it has our, our, our name on it, our logo, and it's bling. Um, actually, I'm... I'm creating a new one right now for my cell phone. It's actually going to be the Harmonic Creation Field Trio in a sticky back just to see what it does, to see if that will transmit that Harmonic Creation Field Trio out. If it does, that might be something new that we bring out. But, you know, we always got to play with that stuff just to see how it goes. Um, but, yeah, you can totally use this on phones, laptops. Um, for, like, my daughter, I use it on her tablet. You know, that's that's the, the go-to for her tablet. Um, so, yeah, well, it's the uses are unlimited, like I say, because you can use it for water, you can use it for personal, you can use it for all electromagnetics. So, anyway, um, I see we're about 32 minutes into the webinar here, so if there's no other questions... Um, that might be it for the day then. Um, so again, they're waterproof. Put them anywhere. Pretty phenomenal tool. Again, I like to plug in a lot too because uh, you can take it with you. All right. And hey, thank you guys. I, I appreciate all you guys that are here. Um, we have 12 people on right now, and I know we get a lot more, a lot more that watch the recordings. Um, and, yep, and I know quite a few of you guys, so thank you very much for being here. And uh, we'll have more webinars coming up soon. I think the next one is actually on the Gateway Pendant. So, all righty. Take care, you guys. Have fun.